the city's high school students fail to graduate on time. And while other emerging journalists are struggling for jobs, Stephanie received a first-class college education at the New School and has recently found work as an editor less than a year after graduation. All right. So there's a success story. I'm yeah. sure there are many more. Yeah. But I like the idea that the mentor actually went to the interview, the college interview, because I, you know, if, if I were a college admission person and I mm -hmm. knew that this young woman had a mentor who was going to stick with her, maybe even through college, thought that much of it, she brought it to the, to the interview, <clears throat> that would say something to me. I'd want that, that young woman in, in my school. Yeah. I mean, I, these mentor-mentee relationships are very close. Um, and, uh, you know, they start out, um, you know, they start out somewhat artificial. We are matching these girls and mentors, although with a lot of information to begin with. Sure. Um, but uh, they, uh, they grow over time as a result of engaging in our rigorous curriculum and meeting weekly. Um, and it really helps a lot that they're um, their weekly sessions are rooted in a monthly community experience. Yes, um, yes. And, um, and they become, you know, they become very connected. They become, uh, they become friends, and they become committed to each other. And I'll say that, I mean, it's clear the way that the mentors influence the girls' lives in these very concrete ways um, that change the trajectory of their writing and professional lives. But the girls affect the mentors, too. Yes, I bet they do. They do, yeah. and it's really a symbiotic relationship, and, um, and it's a special um, thing to experience that happening. This is Bill Ayers on Community Connections. Our guest tonight is Maya Nussbaum. <clears throat> she is the co-founder and executive director of an organization called Girls Right Now, W-R-I-T-E, Girls Right Now, and that's their website, Girls Right Now. Dot org. Their phone number is 212-691-6590, 212-691-6590. This is a program that's been going on for almost a dozen years now, and it's a mentoring program where women who are professional writers, who have an, an experience and an expertise in writing and a desire to pass that on to a young woman, they mentor over a period of time with a young woman, and wonderful things happen. And that's uh, pretty remarkable. Now, the thing that we haven't talked about, though, is that you're not just skimming the cream of the crop here. You're dealing with young women who are having some difficulties, from what I understand. And 40% of them, you mentioned, come from families that are immigrants. Tell us yeah. about that whole experience. Our girls are, are bright young women ages 13 to 20 who attend high school throughout New York City's five boroughs. And our, our membership really reflects the, the dynamic population of our home. We recruit primarily from large, overcrowded, highly diverse, or international schools with limited extracurricular programs. So roughly 40% of our girls are, uh, are recent immigrants that have been in the mm -hmm. country for under six years. We work with all the international schools in New York. Wow, that's amazing. Now, see, this is... This is a program that shouldn't be needed in a sense. The schools should be doing this kind of thing. But we know that with cutbacks in education, and there's going to be more of those, unfortunately, mm -hmm. that so many of the essential kinds of services that schools should be providing kids, they're not. Not just in, in reading and writing, but science and technology and uh, math, all kinds of things. History, nobody knows much about history and geography anymore. But th those are all enormously important services. And then, of course, you get the arts. And uh, our system is very, very deficient in providing these kinds of educational, cultural experiences for young people. So there are a number of programs throughout the city that are nonprofits. And yours is a nonprofit program, I assume, right? Yes, it is. And, and they're doing wonderful jobs. And, and it's too bad that our whole educational system isn't moving in that direction. But while it isn't, we need groups like the uh, Girls Right Now program. Now, you started this 
when you had just, I guess, gotten out of college yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, can I just give you a quick statistic to back sure, up sure, one sure, of the sure. things that you were saying? Something that I find kind of shocking. Um, in addition to the fact that New York City's um, public school system, which is one of the nation's largest and enrolls more than one million children, um, o- almost half of whom will not graduate from high school on time, and only 31% of students in New York were found to have proficient writing skills, meaning wow. that they can't understand a high school textbook well. Um, so we're really talking about basic writing skills, grammar, how to construct a sentence, um, on the one hand, and then on the other, really giving the girls a space to find their voice and to develop creative expression um, and to learn about writing as a viable career path and to see how it fits into um, almost any career path that you might choose. All right, so the, the thing that the president has been talking about with education, saying that we really need to strengthen the education yeah. system in this country from pre-K all the way up, to uh, college and beyond, that is an absolutely essential task for us if we want to be competitive and also if we want to just have happy, creative, and uh, functioning people. Yeah. Because one of the great great, uh, secrets in this country is how many people are functionally illiterate, including right here in, in New York City. And it isn't just people who come from other countries. It's lots of folks who grew who were born here, grew up here, and just for one reason or another, they're not functionally literate. Mm-hmm. You know, they can read to a certain level, but they can't read to the kind of level that allows them to get the kind of jobs that they need and just allows them to have a good life. Mm-hmm. So that's what you guys are doing. Yeah. Uh, what got you into this in the first place? Well, I, I co-founded Girls Right Now when I was finishing.